Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So, there's a thing that's been going around. A uh, couple people have been doing like budget inferno clears, and uh, this concept was uh, really intriguing to me, so I decided to try it. So let's let's go over uh, exactly what uh, what they're doing here. Basically, um, they set a certain amount of gold, like let's say 500k or a million, and they they use that amount of gold to buy gear from the auction house. And they use only that gear and they try to beat a certain act or a certain part of the game uh, of Diablo 3 on Inferno. And uh, I thought this was a really cool idea. Uh, I didn't look too much into it on uh, how the other guys did it. But, um, you know, I thought pretty cool way to do it is just to, you know, get some gear as cheaply as possible. Not necessarily within a certain budget, just as cheap as I can get it. And, uh, you know the gear had to be at a, at a level that I felt comfortable uh, that I could clear Inferno with it because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to use a full budget set of gear on a barb and go from Act 1 all the way to killing Diablo on Inferno. And uh, I also wanted to do it with, with, with as few deaths as possible because uh, I do want to do it again on Hardcore as well. Now the second thing to note is that uh, I don't exactly know how the other guys did it in terms of budgeting for the other items but uh, I think the fairest way to do it is um, to only spend gold um, on all your items and for that portion to include your mercs items and the gems. And not only that, I don't think you should be able to use anything that drops within your game. So basically, within the lowest possible budget, I had to find gear good enough for my barb, my merc, including the gems to be able to clear Inferno. So basically I want to show you guys what I came up with uh, because I think you'll be amazed at the result. Um, and I'm also going to go over uh, how I searched for these items and how I was able to find them. So let's get started here. I uh, categorized all the items here and you can see uh, the proof of purchase, uh, if you will, uh, for each item individually. So starting from the, uh, from the top here, uh, I found my, my weapon. So when I was looking for a weapon, I was trying to find one with 1.4 or higher attack speed. So you're looking for a sword, a dagger, or another weapon with increased attack speed bonus. And I was also looking for a weapon with life on hit. I put 400 as the minimum value, and I put the budget at 100k on the weapon. Uh, this weapon was uh, unusually good for its price point. Um, usually around a 100k price point you can find a weapon with similar stats but around like 580 to 600 DPS at least at this time because you guys have to keep in mind you know gold devalues steadily so um, you know stuff might cost more or might even cost less in some cases uh, later on um, you know in the following months anyway uh, getting on to the rest of the gear um, so I was pretty happy with the sword. Uh, the shield took me quite some time to find. Uh, when it came to shields, I was looking for um, I level 62 shields. I level 63 shields are generally much more expensive, and I didn't want to spend too much on a shield. Originally, I was looking for strength all resist on shields, um, but I ended up finding a few uh, vitality all resist shields, and uh, that's one of the ones that I picked up. There's quite a few shields that are very similar to this on the auction house. So uh, 15k is a little unusually low, but for like 25 to 30k, uh, there were several other ones. When it came to the rings, I was trying to get life on hit in small amounts on my rings, my amulets, and my weapons because you know uh, I can't socket life on hit because you know the gem would cost too much, and I can't get too high of a life on hit amount because again that would cost too much. So um, Originally, I had gotten uh, two rings with like 130 life on hit a piece, uh, but they had, you know, pretty mediocre stats. Uh, I was originally searching for either strength or vitality and physical resist and a little bit of life on hit. You see, when I, when I searched for strength and vitality with life on hit, the rings would be much, much more expensive. So that was um, the primary focus of my strategy. You know, I was trying to get items that were missing one stat from being a really good item, but I would alternate the missing stat throughout all my gear uh, in order to actually have a complete set that would resemble you know, a, good, a good set of gear. 
so on to uh, Oath, Oath Solace. Um, I picked up this ring this morning uh, just because it had attack speed and pretty good stats. Um, so my, my other ring was like 130 life on hit with uh, like 70 vitality and like 30 physical resist. But I decided to go for this one because my life on hit was actually already quite high. And um, you know I, I felt the attack speed would counter most of the life on hit loss and the rest of the stats were significantly better uh, largely because of the bonus to armor. So 165 armor is a lot of defense. You know, for rings like these, you're not gonna find them with all resist. So I try to focus on, on specific resists like physical and armor. Now, uh, Gasping Loop, I picked this up last night. Um, again, it replaced one of my other rings. I mostly went with this one because of the really high life on hit value. So 245 life on hit is almost maxed and uh, that allowed me to replace both my old life on hit rings and still remain with a reasonable life on hit value. Now the rest of the stats are pretty bad, but um, because of this ring, it allowed me to use my second ring, which has the, the, the bulk of the good stats. Now onto the helm. Uh, the helm that I got here for 30K uh, was a really good one. Uh, there were several other helms with sockets um, that I could have purchased around this price point but this one was uh, a lot better because of the bonus to armor. And uh, I think the, the reason I was able to get such a good helm for so little is because it does not have a socket, but it does have percent life. You see, uh, the only gem I can really get is a flawless square within my budget. I can't really go above that. So 8% life is really, you know, a replacement for 12% life. It's not that big of a deal because my base life is not very high to begin with. You know, that difference is like, you know, about 30 vitality, the 4% life that is. So it's not that big a deal, man. I was searching for um, really high vitality percent life helms, and I was ordering them by armor. That's a really important trick because it allows you to search for whatever you want because you only have three search options. And then if you sort it by armor, it essentially lists the ones with bonus armor. And bonus armor does replace all resists in terms of gear value quite well. So that's how I found this helm here. Um, there weren't too many like it, but uh, there were a few. As for the chest, uh, I used a similar uh, search methodology. Uh, I searched for vitality, physical resist, not all resist, because all resist makes it really expensive. So I searched for vitality, physical resist, and two sockets or more. And then again, I ordered it by armor. So again, it would filter the first couple matches by bonus armor. And bonus armor is really what I'm looking for. I ended up finding this one. Honestly, there were many like it within the 50K and, and lower price point. Um, pretty happy with this one because it also had strength in addition to the other stats. The alternatives had higher armor, but they didn't have strength. So the strength counteracted the armor difference and it gave me a little bit bonus to damage. So I'm very happy with the chest that I picked up. Uh, the amulet that I picked up for 30k, uh, I was originally searching for just plain rare amulets with 200 and I think it was 220 or 230 life on hit or more. And I just went through all of them. Uh, this one had a decent amount of vitality and a decent amount of damage. Uh, so, you know, within the 30k uh, price point, scored really well on that one. Uh, there was a few like it, but none quite as good as this one uh, when I was searching for them. Most of them had like, you know, some of them had like 350 life on hit, but they wouldn't have any other stats besides maybe like a socket. So that's a pretty good alternative, but I felt this is a little bit stronger. Uh, as for the belt, um, I searched for all resist, physical resist, and really high strength. Belt is one of those items that can have really high strength, and it can't really have as much vitality. But if it does have vitality, it becomes much more expensive because then it becomes a good belt. So I deliberately searched for belts without vitality. And uh, there was actually quite a few of these belts up there. So uh, you should be able to find a similar belt within a similar price range. Uh, for the pants, I used the same strategy as the chest. I used uh, the search function for very high vitality, physical resist, and I did one less than the max socket. So I did search for one, one socket or more. And um, yeah, I came up with the same result. I sorted by armor. So I looked at the first options. I found one with armor like this one. It has high physical resist and it even had some strength again. So I picked it up 
45k is quite a lot compared to the rest of the gear, but um, these were uh, these were worth it in my opinion. Um, there were several like it, but none quite as good within the 50k price point. Uh, there was a lot that were similar to all the stats, except they'd have like you know 38 physical resist. So they're very very similar, but not quite as good as this one. Um, moving on to the rest of the item. Uh, getting to the boots, I actually picked up these boots uh, several days ago when I had this in mind uh, and I wasn't able to find better ones at that price point when I was buying the rest of my gear earlier today and last night. Um, you can buy boots for about like 30 or 40k that have these exact stats but don't have the armor. Uh, I felt these boots are really good because they have the armor in addition to all the other stats. I use the same strategy as the other items. Um, so I searched for strength instead of vitality because it would be cheaper that way. So I searched for strength, physical resist, all resist, and then I sorted it by highest to lowest armor. And uh, this one actually happened to have a little bit of vitality as well, and it had quite a lot of armor. So uh, I picked this up instantly when I saw this uh, a couple days ago. Shoulders, same thing as the belt. Shoulders can have additional strength, so you want to get strength on shoulders and you want to save the vitality for a few other items. Uh, and for these shoulders, uh, again, I did high strength, uh, all resist, physical resist, no vitality. And uh, with those search functions, you can find several shoulders that are si similar to these, but not quite as good. And, uh, you know, pretty, pretty happy with those for, for 20K. Uh, the gloves, I got a little bit lucky on. I actually wasn't able to find gloves as good as these within like the 20K or lower, or lower price point. Uh, most gloves with these stats were about like 60 or 70k, but um, you know, I only searched for really one night, so I'm sure if you take your time over several days, you'll find stuff like this every now and then. For gloves, I know gloves can be pretty expensive uh, because they typically don't have high stats, so um, I think you, you should search for either all resist physical and like a low amount of strength or vitality, or all resists and then high strength. So that's what I did. I searched for very high strength and high all resist, and I came up with these gloves. Uh, they have a lot of decks as well, and because they have a lot of decks, that you know that adds a little bit of defensive value with uh, with dodge. And uh, last piece here uh, for my main bar are the bracers. I got pretty lucky on these bracers again uh, for 20k. That was an absolute steal. Uh, you can find bracers uh, with the specifications I mentioned before. You know, resists physical resist and either strength or vitality. You can find bracers like that uh, within a similar price range. But the ones I picked up, um, instead of physical resist, they have a little bit of both strength and vitality and they have armor. So I was really, really happy with these bracers. And uh, yeah, that pretty much completes my barbs gear. But you have to keep in mind, I had to get all the, um, all the Merc gear as well. So moving on to the Merc gear, uh, when I searched for a two-hander, I searched for a two-hander uh, with 10k or less buyout and like I think I searched for 125 int or more. Uh, there were a few other options but because this one had vitality as well as strength that's the one that I picked. So you probably think like why would I want, this is for enchantress of course, why would I want strength on an enchantress? Well I felt that if I was having a, a problem meeting in rage timers I could actually take the weapon off my merc and use it on my barb. And, uh, you know, hopefully I don't have to do that, but we don't know for sure. We'll have to see. Uh, as for the Enchantress token, I just searched for the highest int under, like, 10k, and uh, I got a pretty good item. Someone listed it for, like, 1,000 because it's a level 32 item, so it only vendors for, like, 300. So sometimes you can get items like that. Uh, the amulet I got really lucky on. Uh, most amulets of this caliber are about uh, 15 to 20k. You're just looking for a high int with some vitality and uh, pretty much it's represented by the rings that you see there. Those are high-end vitality rings. I wasn't able to find any too good deals uh, for the rings. That's, that's pretty standard price. There's a ton of those up there because most, most of the people who post these, uh, they, get them, they get them off the vendor, right? All right, so let's, let's tally it all up. Let's equip all the gear. Let's put in those, those crummy flawless square gems, tally up the totals, and, and see what we come up with. Here we go. Here's, here's the slide I got for you guys. This is my barb with shout on with the tank spec that I typically use for Act 1 and 2. And um, these are the stats, man. I was really happy with it. I had to tweak a few things here and there until I got it to this point, but uh, I think it's at a good spot. 
So I spent 400,000 exactly on all the barb gear, 640 for the gems for the barb gear, and about 45,000 for all the merc gear, bringing up the total cost of all the gear on the character, including the gems, including the gear for the mercenary to 445,514 gold. So that's, that's a pretty good value there. I'm pretty sure if you just hit 60, you can get that much gold. So, um, you know, shouldn't scare anyone away from Inferno. Let's look at, let's look at the stats here. So my physical resist is almost a thousand. Uh, most of my other resists are, you know, six to 700. Um, that's pretty low, but it's countered by the armor, you see, because almost every priest that I got, um, I got armor because people don't value armor. You know, I, I profited on essentially the, the, the ignorance of, of people with stats. So because I have really high armor, I have almost 11,000 armor, that's going to help me overcome uh, the low resist that I have. And in addition to that, uh, my HP is a little low, but there's really nothing I could do about that because uh, items with vitality that have the stats that I want are typically very expensive. So my life at almost 41k is really uh, the best I could do. Um, but for the most part, that doesn't matter as much. On a barb, you want damage mitigation and you want life on hit. And I have both, I think. I have a lot of armor, decent resist, and I almost have a thousand life on hit at 1.52 attack speed. Some people are, might be criticizing, you know, the damage is like, 9k damage? You won't be able to meet the enrages. Well, uh, I think I'll be fine. My hardcore barb actually had just over 7k damage. So this is actually going to be a damage upgrade from my hardcore barb. And even though when I cleared the bosses on my hardcore barb, the enrage timers didn't exist, um, I actually met some of them anyway. And on top of that, um, you know, I wasn't optimized uh, in terms of damage uh, for those particular bosses. So there's going to be some flexibility with spec to overcome uh, the new enrage timers. And I think it's enough for me to defeat everything. So... What did you guys learn from this? Well, hopefully, you guys learned that if you get slightly less than perfect gear, you can get extremely good gear for literally nothing. Um, that's the way to do it, man. You gotta, you gotta learn how to use the auction house to your advantage. You gotta learn what items are good, and you gotta think about which stat you can take away to get a good item for practically nothing. If you get enough of those items, I think you'll have a good set. I'll do the run tonight. I haven't started yet. I practiced on a few bosses that I thought might be tricky, and uh, the results were pretty good. Um, so tonight on the stream, uh, actually in about half an hour from now, I'm gonna start clearing. We'll start in Act 1, and uh, hopefully before I go to sleep tonight, we would have finished uh, Act 4. But on top of that, I'm gonna try to kill as many champion packs as possible. So I'm going to record how many I end up skipping throughout the whole game. And I'm going to record how many times I die. Because again, this is practice for a hardcore run that I plan to do in the future. If you guys are interested, check it out. If not, see you guys tomorrow.